Hello, thank you for joining me in this live. I'm glad you were able to join me. Today we're going to talk about um, those who uh, are looking to start a podcast. I'm going to help you with some information, um, giving you some of the questions that you may ask, that you may um, have had. I'm glad that you're here. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to get right in, and we're just going to start um, talking about uh, how to start a podcast. And you know, any questions that you may have, you can um, comment and um, the comments should come through here. I'm looking at a comment screen here, so they should come through. So um, if they don't, I will answer your questions after this live. There may be a few questions that I already answer um, for you anyway. All right, so let's start out. Um, if you're looking to start a podcast. Um, it's a great idea. It's, podcasts are a good thing that, uh, to do. Um, you can do a lot with a podcast, but let's first explain what a podcast is. So what is a podcast? All right. A podcast is a series, and I'm going to read this from um, my screen, a, a series of digital multiple media files distributed over the Internet for playback on mobile devices or personal computers. So what they're saying is, in terms of what a, a podcast is, um, it's just digital media um, through spoken word. These spoken words and digital media, they you can hear them from computers. You can download them to your computer. You can download them to your iPhone, your Android or, um, you know, just on your iPad or things of that nature. All right. So podcasts can be distributed through so many different avenues. Um, it gets around, it gets around, um, globally, it gets around local and everywhere else. So podcasts are a, a great way to send your message and get it out to the world. All right. So what's the purpose of a podcast? Um, and I just answered some of that, but I'm going to go ahead and go into uh, a few reasons. One is to inform. So let's just say you have information that you want to get out. There's a lot of people who, who, who run to Google for information. There's a lot, you know, there's a lot of people who run um, to, you know, certain professionals for information. You can go to a podcast and get information too. If you're, let's just say if you're um, um, a mental health counselor, you can do a podcast about some of the symptoms that um, derive from ADHD. And that information, you're informing other people about the signs of ADHD, which could help somebody with their children um, recognize the signs and get some help with it right away. So podcasts help you inform others of different things, of different uh, things you may not know about. Um, expression. Now, this is one of my favorites. Um, a podcast, if you want to express yourself and you want the world to know <laughs> to, um, you know, want the world to know what you feel about certain topics and topics that are dear and gender and, and, um, so good. What's the word for it? Dear to you. Um, and very passionate to you. Um, expression of that through a podcast is a great way to do it. Again, everybody will hear it. It'll, you know, it'll be across, it can be heard globally. It can be heard locally. Um, everybody will hear that podcast. So expression is a good way A podcast is a, a good way to express what you're feeling and your, your particular views on certain things. Um, a hobby. That's the third one. A lot of people do a podcast for a hobby. Nobody's looking to get rich off of it. They're not looking to be famous. They're not looking to express their opinions or, or anything like that. They just do it because they like it. I know a lot of people who do uh, podcasts for a hobby. I've known a lot of people who, who've done podcasts uh, for a hobby. It started out as a hobby, but then after that, what happened was they, you know, they got into it. They started getting into it a little bit more, learning different things. And um, it, it became, it became um, a, a, a avenue for, for financial gain for them. Um, they didn't get rich. They're not rich, but they do get sponsors and things of that nature. And let's see the fourth, um, purpose for a podcast is to complement your show or business. And I gave you an example of that um, with the first um, purpose to inform. So you want to complement your business or your show. If you have a business, you know, um, football, you know, you got to use sell football equipment. You do a podcast on football equipment, the best football equipment, the best gear, things of that nature. You have a store, but if you do a podcast on that 
particular equipment, you can easily say, hey, look, you know, this is the best helmet. And hey, guess what? We sell this in my store. So you need to come on down to such and such, such a street. I'm located. My business hours are such and such. So that podcast can get people down there and get, and, and, um, get you some business also. So the purpose of a podcast is to inform expression, hobby, and compliment your show or business. All right. Now, the next question we will, I've got is, um, how do podcasts make money? And, I, and I'll tell you, there's a lot of ways a podcast can make money. Um, there's ways you can make a lot of money. There's ways you can make um, a little bit of money. And in some ways, um, it's a little bit of money. And it all depends on your following and um, how many downloads you have. Usually the standard with, with podcasts is when, when people, um, no, I'll get to that part. You know, I'm not going to talk about that right now. I'm going to get to that. Uh, but the first one is donations. So if you have a podcast, You'll be surprised at how many people donate money. You put a donate button up on your podcast or your YouTube channel, whatever it may be. Some people do a podcast on a YouTube channel. You'll be surprised who donates. People want to donate. People get your information. And if it's good content and it's good information, you don't have to. You you probably will get some donations if you put that donation button up on, you know, uh, your live or something like that. Um, you'd be surprised. People donate a lot. Uh, uh, most of the time, it's um, there's a page for that. I believe it's Patreon. So if you go to patreon.com, you can make yourself a page. People can donate. And uh, with my Patreon page, uh, I'll leave the link below. <laughs> Plug. Um, so with my Patreon page, there's levels of donations. Like So if you donate between $1 and $5, you get an exclusive uh, extra... Um, extra content that nobody else will get who, uh, who gave money. If you donate 10 to $15, then you get videos, um, extra videos about podcasting that many others won't get. Uh, sometimes I have it set up where if you donate a certain amount of money, you get the, vi everybody gets the videos, but you get it super early. So um, donations is a good way uh, to make money on your podcast. Let's see another way. Um, the sale of your own products. So like I said, with that football, uh, the guy that owns the football store, um, he's selling his own products. He has a podcast about football equipment and the best gear to stay safe. And he's selling his product too. So he's saying, Hey, I sell this, come on down. Let's, you know, I have a sale today and all of that can be in his podcast. So that's one, that's another way you can, um, sell your own products. That's how you can make some money. Um, Sale of premium episodes. Okay, so this is this is a this is one for I think those who um who are more not popular but more a lot of people they have a little bit more followers. Those who have a high following and there's two there's two components to that. Two components. You have a, a high following, a lot of subscribers, and you have good content. I mean, I've know a couple of podcasters who they have good content and they got a lot of followers and they sell back episodes, their premium, well, not back episodes, premium episodes. So those episodes are episodes that you won't get on a regular podcast. Those are episodes that are specifically made and recorded for those who want to make purchase of those. And usually they have a little bit more information of the how to or the what or the when or the how. So, um, those premium episodes, they have a little bit more content than what you would get on a regular episode, a podcast episode. All right. And the last one uh, is sponsorship. Now, I spoke about that. I believe it was uh, last week in another live. Sponsorship is great. Sponsorship um, is a good way. And uh, it's a good way to get some money uh, from from outside businesses. So, again, let's say you do. Let's say you have that podcast about football equipment and you don't have your own store. If you have a podcast about uh, a, a pod, excuse me, a podcast about football equipment and you're you have thousands and thousands of followers. The NFL who make let's see who makes helmets. Wilson makes helmets, right? Uh, Rydell, I believe, and Wilson. Um, Nike makes jerseys. 
So if you have that podcast and you have a lot of listeners, Nike may say, hey, look, I know you got a lot of listeners and I know they're listening, uh, to hearing you about what's good um, football equipment and, and, and gear and things of that nature. Can you recommend our product? Can we sponsor a section of your podcast? So, yeah, you say, yes, you can sponsor a section and they'll pay you to say, hey, this episode of the podcast is brought to you by Nike. Nike makes the best jerseys. They make different sizes, different uniforms, if you, different types of uniforms. If you're interested in getting Nike to do your local team's uniforms for your city, contact Nike at, at uh, or visit their website at www.nike.com. Nike will pay you. So that's what the sponsorship does. The sponsorship gets these companies coming in from outside and paying you to make light or give light to, to their company. All right. So that's just the top four ways you can make money. Um, there's other ways you can probably make money, uh, but these are the top four ways, all right? So I'm gonna go to my next question. And the next question is, what equipment do I need to start a podcast? Now this, um, this, this can get tricky, all right? So because um, you can start a podcast and I'm gonna get into that. You can start a podcast with nothing. Um, depending on what type of podcast or how you, it depends on the quality of your podcast and, and how far into it, if you're really into doing it and you want to make an investment in it and not just do it for a hobby. All right. So what you need to make a podcast is a recording device. Okay. That recording device, um, it's gotta be something that can record your voice. All right. You also need a microphone if you're not using a recording device, because a recording device could be like a, a small recorder, something like that. Um, but you need that. Um, and you need a microphone if you don't have a recording device. Some recording devices, you can just hit the button and you can talk right into it. There are some recording devices in which you have to hook a, uh, a connect a mic microphone up to that recording device and then you record. Um, but you're definitely going to need a microphone if you don't have a recording device. All right. Um, you're going to need a computer or a phone, um, with in it, with an internet connection, because, uh, once you record your, your podcast and you edit it and everything is good, you're going to have to upload it to some type of media to get that podcast out. Right. So three things we need recording device. Okay. Going to need a microphone if you don't have a recording device and uh, an external uh, independent recording device. And you're going to need a computer or an internet connection to upload your uh, particular recording. All right. So, next question How much does it cost to start a podcast? This answer goes from zero to 1,000 because you can start a podcast very easy with no money. Um, the quality of it is different, you know, um, because, and I'll give you an example. So let's just say you have a computer, okay? With that computer, you can hit the record button. If you have a Mac, you, you automatically have GarageBand on your um, computer. GarageBand is a software that records your voice. Um, so you can record yourself and send it and, and, and have a podcast right there. Okay. You don't even need a microphone because with your, with your Mac and you hit it with the Mac and garage band, there's an internal mic in your computer that will record. It may not now, now it may not sound as good as a microphone because with a microphone, your quality is your, the sound quality is definitely going to be a little bit better than um, you just recording inside of a standard computer microphone. But how much does it cost to start a podcast? It can go from zero and up. So zero, like I said, if you have a computer, uh, if you have a Mac, you automatically have GarageBand, you have a mic, you open GarageBand, you hit the record button, you start talking, you talk about your stuff. You can even edit on GarageBand, edit your podcast, okay? So yes, you can do it yourself, but there's a lot that goes into podcasting. If you want a quality podcast, if you're just doing it for a hobby, um, then you can go that route. But if you want a quality podcast where you 
assume people you're going to get bigger and that people are going to start listening. You're going to ha- want good audio quality. Um, you know, you can use Buzzsprout. Um, let's see, Buzzsprout. You can use Anchor. Um, and basically, you're just recording your um, podcast and you're sending up the Anchor. They'll give you a website and all of that stuff. Um, and I'm not knocking that at all. If you if you choose to do that, that's fine. Um, but when you do that, you definitely are missing out on some of the um, extra features you you can do and freedom with your own website or your own um, uh, podcast media host. OK, um, so you don't get too much of a choice when you use these anchors and bus sprouts and stuff like that. It's just record, send it up um, and they, you know, it's, it's just of a lower quality. I'm not going to say it's bad. I'm not knocking anybody who uses Anchor. I've heard some great podcasts with Anchor, uh, but I'm just saying like, if you want some more freedom to do other things, okay? So at that at that rate where if you're recording a podcast with GarageBand on a Mac and your internal microphone, the cost is zero, okay? If you have a Windows computer, they do have a... Um, they got an option for recording your your voice. I don't I'm not sure if um they have software. I don't think they do, but there is a software you can use with Windows called Audacity. And Audacity will use the uh uh internal computer microphone that you have on your Windows computer, but again, it's not gonna sound uh of a of a higher quality podcast. So that's zero. Okay, so you can start a podcast as less as, as as much as zero dollars. Now, if you want to step up to something else, um, which which is this pretty much the standard, I would say you're gonna need a mixer. Okay. And this is this mixer right here, um, it's a small mixer. You know, it's just for like one person who wants to podcast. I don't know how much that runs. It's very cheap, it's very uh the price is very uh competitive. Um and you also need a microphone, which is, uh, I'm just going to keep this up here, right here. I'm going to switch fan. Okay. I'm going to keep, <laughs> I'm going to keep this up here. So this right here, this particular mixer, um, is very cheap and you can use that. Um, you're also going to need a microphone, which is already in here, but, um, let's just say you don't have that mixer. Okay. What you can do is use something else called, and I'm going to put this up on the screen right now. This is an ATR 2100. It's a USB microphone. So what that is means is that you can connect this microphone to um, a computer and through a USB port and you'll get great sound quality out of it. So using this microphone, you'll get the good quality that 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 um, that's very reasonable. I use that microphone sometimes. Uh, sometime I'll use this one. I have one right under here. Um, I have a, a, another microphone that's a little bit more expensive, but it depends on the day, how I feel. I use, um, different microphones, but I do use this ATR 2100 microphone and it, it, it sounds real good. So you're not, um, going to lose out on any audio quality using this microphone. So that's the standard. I mean, for the, for a beginner, I would get this microphone, um, and if you're just starting out, you don't have to buy a mixer right away. Just use that ATR2100 microphone, stick it in your computer, and your software will pick up that microphone. You just have to set it to um, tell your software that that microphone is plugged up, which is very easy. That's a whole nother video um, that I can make for you. Um, so if you're using this ATR2100 microphone, then the cost is not zero anymore. You're looking at this microphone runs from... Sixty dollars to about ninety nine dollars. This microphone used to be about forty five, fifty dollars, but it became so popular because of its 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 good quality, and it has gone up. Some websites you might find it a little cheaper, but um, this microphone is very of high quality. It runs between um, fifty, I guess fifty to ninety nine dollars. Um, so with that, it'll cost you about ninety nine dollars. I'll just go with the high end. And if it's less than you're good to go, you got a little extra money for your cords and stuff like that. So uh, it has a stand. I wouldn't use that stand. It's a table stand because once you bump the table, it's going to pick it up. So you might need a boom arm. A boom arm is just basically what that mic um, sits on. It's like got that arm swing. You could swing it around. It's connected to that thing where you swing it around. Uh, I don't have one to show you up here, but 
um, a boom arm is what you'll need. That's about $10. So now you're talking about maybe $110. I doubt if this microphone, um, if you don't get this microphone a little cheaper than $99, but I'm just going at the high price here. So at, at, at most, it's going to cost you $99 plus the boom arm. Um, if you choose to buy one or you can use that stand, um, that's right here, this stand right here. Um, so $99. Now, if you're into this high end podcasting, then those prices get, they get a little higher and I'll, I won't spend too much time on that. But, um, I've had microphones that are $400. I have, uh, audio interfaces, which is like not a mixer, but it acts as a mixer. I have audio interfaces that have cost $399, $300. That's when you start getting into the high stuff. So, and then you have different um, microphone preamps, stuff like that, which you don't really need right now. When you're starting out, you don't need to have all of that, all of that equipment. All you need is something nice like that ATR2100 right here. Uh, and that'll get you going. And it'll, it'll have your podcast and sounding real good. All right. So. All right. So next question we're going to go over is how do I get my podcast on iTunes? All right. So this, this, this is a loaded question too. I mean, you can get your podcast on iTunes. Um, so what happens is let me, let me tell you what happens when you, um, get your podcast. So when you get your podcast, depending on your media host, the media host is the per is the, is the, the company or whatever that you upload your podcast to. When you upload your podcast to a media host, then they, they store your podcast in there. And then that podcast goes out to different uh, social media platforms and different plat podcasting platforms. Um, that is done through what we call an RSS feed A really the RSS stands for really simple syndication. And I'll read what that, what that means. RSS feed. It's a type of web feed that allows subscribers to across, I'm sorry, allows subscribers to access updates, podcasts, news, and blogs. So an RSS feed, you can say is like, um, it's like CNN, the news channel. Okay. So CNN goes out and gets news. Okay. They get the news. Okay. All the news comes into CNN. This person's doing this. This rally is happening here. And then CNN distributes that news to you, um, on your, to, to your mom, your dad on some type of vice device. Well, I'm sorry, device, whether it be a TV, your phone, um, some of you get CNN news on, uh, you know, your tablet. So CNN is like that. It's like an RSS feed. They get the news that comes in and they distribute it out. Okay. And I'm gonna give you a visual of that right now. So this is a visual of an RSS feed. All right. And my face is blocked, but you don't need to see me, I guess. <laughs> so this is your media host where it says, look at the top in the middle. It says, uh, Libsyn, that's your media host. So when you upload your podcast to Libsyn, it then sends your podcast info, your RSS feed, um, It'll send you, it'll send your podcast to your RSS feed. I'm sorry. Once it does that, your RSS feed, can I try to say that fast? Your RSS feed goes out to everybody who subscribes. So you have a subscriber. Let's say you have a subscriber with an iPod. That, that RSS feed will send that podcast that you just uploaded out to them. And then it, you have someone, you have a subscriber with the iPhone. As you can see, they'll send that um, feed out to them saying, hey, Andre has a new episode. If you have a Galaxy tab, whoever has that, they're going to say, hey, look, Andre has a new episode. I'm downloading. I'm letting you know. Here it is. I'm downloading it to your phone. So um, it goes all over. OK, so the, it, it, it's the RSS feed is just like a source of, of, of news. And it could be with blogs and all of that stuff, too. But we're talking um, about a podcast. All right. So the RSS feed for your podcast, you'll get an RSS feed with your media host. And every time that you upload a, a, a podcast, that RSS feed is going to say, hey, this wasn't here before. You had five episodes. Now there's six. 
oh, okay, so this must be a new episode. Let me distribute this podcast to all the other subscribers who don't have episode six. And that's how the RSS feed works, okay? So you'll get an RSS feed if you have a media host. Um, and there's, there's most, 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 even if you go to with Buzzsprout um, or if you go with um, Podbeam or Anchor, they, they'll give you this RSS feed and it'll go out to them. But here's the thing. When I, when I, when you go to those um, Buzzsprouts and Podbeams, I know I said this before, but you're, you're really, you, you're really putting a limit on what you can do with your podcast because they have websites for your podcast that your podcast will live at, but you can't put your own advertising on there. Um, it, it's advertising about other stuff that has nothing to do with your podcast. If you have your own website and you, um, let me get rid of this here. If you have your own website, um, you can do whatever you want with your, with, with, with your pages. Like you want sp certain sponsors to come in. There they are right there. You can have a certain section for your um, podcast and certain, you know, if you're selling something, Buzzsprout and Anchor and all of them, they don't give you all of that. Okay. And you, you know, you can manipulate your own, um, your own, um, I guess, setup in terms of how you want your podcast to look and, colors and all of that. You don't get all of that with, with Buzzsprout and Anchor. So yes, it's easy. You can start a podcast and use that, but I'm telling you, if you're into it and you really want to start a, um, a podcast that's going to be around and you want some freedom, you want good audio quality because sometimes they compress the audio and it doesn't sound as good as your own stuff. Um, then I'm suggesting that you do it on your own um, you get your website and, you know, you get a media host that's, that's, that's going to be of good quality and give you some statistics too. I don't think some of these, um, other Buzzsprout and, and Podbeam and Anchor, I, I don't know if they give you enough statistics or if any. All right. Um, so, uh, I got one more thing I want to tell you here. Let me just, um. All right, here we go. One more thing, okay? This is something in the podcasting world that we always tell people who want to start a podcast. Do not, okay? I'm going to put it in here right now. Do not let the imposter syndrome talk you out of starting a podcast. The imposter, syndr the imposter syndrome in the podcast world is... That voice in your head that says, I want to start a podcast, but I don't know anything about it. Okay. You don't need to know anything about it. You got me. You got me. That's why you would hire me to help you start a podcast. And I will teach you and you will learn. And while I'm teaching you and you're learning, you are going to get your podcast and you're going to be able to independently function without me once I and finish helping you with your podcast. That imposter syndrome also says, who am I to start a podcast? I know nothing about anything. Now that, 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 that's totally not true. You get yourself to, you, you, to get a piece of paper, write down five things that you definitely know about. And if it's not five, if, if it's three or if it's one, it could be just one thing. Think about something that you, you can talk hours about. Okay. And that is your topic. That's your topic. Think about something that's dear to you, something that that's very, very dear to you and something that's passionate. You're passionate about it. And there is your topic. You don't need to be a professional. You don't need to be know everything about it. I don't know everything about podcasting. I still learn too. I still ask questions because there's always um, something to learn in podcasting. There's always new technology coming out. So you don't have to know everything, all right? Just pick something that you're passionate about, okay? So don't let them say, hey, look, um, who am I to start a podcast? I don't know anything. Um, and, and, and don't tell yourself that nobody will listen. That's totally untrue too. People will listen. If you have something to say and it's dear to them, they're going to listen. Whatever's passionate to you, you got to think. You got to think like this. Whatever is passionate to you, 
there's 50, 60,000 plus people who are passionate about the same thing. Believe me, whatever your passion is, you are not the only one. Okay. So to say who would listen to me, nobody would listen. That's not true. People will listen. All right. There's a lot of people out there and you can just name something right now. There's a lot of people out there that, um, they want to talk about something they have. They, they, they're passionate about, um, making crime, um, minimizing crime. There's a lot of people out there who want to do that. Okay. Even, and you know, even, um, cooking or you like to cook, you know, you could talk about recipes and stuff like that. There are a lot of people who will listen. All right. So don't let that, um, imposter syndrome get to you because you can do it. Don't, don't let anybody tell you that you can't, um, you can do it. Um, it's, it's not a hard thing. I can help you do it and, uh, I can get you through it. Okay. So don't let that imposter syndrome get to you. Um, I have told you what a podcast was. I told you how to start one and now it's time for you to get it done. And I am here to help you. I'm here to, to help you start your podcast. I am going to be with you from start to finish. Get it? Start to finish. I, I honestly wasn't trying to put a plug in, but it just came to my mind when I said that. Start to finish. So, I, <laughs> oh boy. Y- y'all stop. Stop, please. please. I know. Thank you. Thank you. No, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you. It's all right. No, no, stop. Please, no applause. No applause. Okay, all right. But uh, seriously, from start to finish, I'll, I'll help you out. Um, and I, you know, my prices are reasonable. Um, we can talk about it. If you want if you have questions, we can, we can talk about it and, um, I can get your ideas and see where we want to go from it. So, uh, visit my website. Uh, if you want to know some more about what I do, you can check out the website at start to finish podcasting.com. You can email me at start to finish podcasting at gmail.com. And if, if you are, let's, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give an hour. Um, if you book this within the next hour, um, right now I'm giving a, I'm giving you a free 15 minute consultation. All you have to go to, uh, is all you have to do is go to this site here. Um, I'm giving you a 15 minute consultation for free. If you Book this consultation within the next uh, within the next hour of when I get off. Then I'll give you 30 minutes. All right. So. Visit my website, start to finish podcasting dot com. All right. And make sure you. Subscribe. There should be a subscribe button. I just did my website. Um, So uh, it has a subscribe button. I think I put it on there. I designed it myself. Um. Send me an email if you have questions. Start to finish podcasting at gmail.com and make sure you go book a 15 minute consultation. We could talk longer than that. If you book this consultation within the next hour right now, it is 233. Um, so I'll give it to about three. You know what? I'll give you. I'll give you to. 345. How about that? So if you book this consultation before 345 hour, we, we can make it a half hour. All right. And we can discuss all of your, your ideas. We can discuss how we're going to do it. I can um, listen to you. You can tell me what kind of podcast you want, interview podcast based or just a show. Um, but I'm there for you. Um, if you have any other questions, you can um, contact me at that number and I'll be waiting for you. And thank you so much. I appreciate you. Have a good day. Enjoy your weekend. And I'm uh, I'm Andre and I'm out.